Hey friends, my name is Jennifer and I am Genevieve Designs. Today I thought I don't normally do, I don't normally decorate my mini album covers in the beginning of a album, but I have an idea and I can temporarily attach it onto the cover and I think that um, that way it can, I, can, I can sit with it for a while. Oh, my printer is talking. I could sit with it for a while and see if I like it and it'll also be showing on the video so that I could tell you know is this something I want to stick with I mean it's not that dramatic you guys I don't know why I'm making it sound like it's so dramatic <laughs> but it is you know we have put the effort into making our covers so I don't want to screw that up so what I want to do I think is I'm gonna make I'm just got something I'm just gonna do something for this very front cover and we can just temporarily attach it with some like double-sided like TG, uh, ATG tape or something just for a temporary basis to see if I like it. Okay, so what is this? This is the Simply Magical Portrait. Uh, we are making a, a magical winter mini album. We are using the winter ornament uh, background design and paper collection out of my Etsy. And we are we are using the ornament background design in the portrait and in the enhancement pack. I have a link in the description box of a collection list of everything that I'm using out of my shop that's printable. Every, well, everything in my shop is printable. <laughs> so everything that I'm using out of my shop, I have it in that collection list. So if you wanted to check it out, it's real quick. It's easy. You hit that link. And it'll take you to that list of mine, the collections list, and it'll show you everything that I'm using. And I also have a playlist if you want to start uh, from the beginning and see an introduction to the set of templates and see, what else did I put in here? Uh, the workbook, how I made my workbook. And then there is, I think in this particular playlist, there is what we're going to be using and then the covers. So I will link that up here in the time cards and down below in the description box. And there's also the giveaway for the paper collection. I did want to uh, just remind you guys that if you ever receive a comment that looks like it's from me that says you are a winner, it is a scam. Do not answer that comment. Um, I try to stay on top of that so things like that don't get out of hand. And I never pick winners that way. I always make a video and you see who the winner is on video or a community post on my YouTube channel. So that's the only way I announce winners. I never contact you. I always ask you to contact me and then we go from there and I have ways of verifying who you are. Okay, so I just wanted to put that out. So you got, what you have to do is you have to be a subscriber to my channel and you have to leave a comment below with all the videos in this playlist. Not the, not the video, um, you don't have to leave a comment under the introduction video. You don't have to leave a comment under the workbook video. Just from the covers on, and in the last video, I did show you all the stuff that I'm giving away, the, the collection. There's two, gonna be two winners. So it's a lot. I used to do it a long time ago. As a matter of fact, I cannot remember when the last time it was that I did it. It was before uh, COVID. Uh, I wanna say it was 2019, but I'm not sure. I, I'm not sure. But anyway, so don't forget about that. Okay, so. I'm going to move the covers aside because I don't need them right now. So out of the templates, I have on page P8, this is a main base page. So it has, it has two pockets or belly bands or flips or whatever you want them to be. So I printed page P8 out and then I cut it out because I'm going to use it as a traceable template. Not this part, but I'm going to use this part. So this is the belly band page pocket flip, whatever you want it to be. It just depends on which tab you trim off. So I am going to use this uh, to create a pocket. And let me just remove that. And then I'm also going to need the, whoop, I need to put more tape on there. I just really quickly put a, a little bit of tape to hold it down. <laughs> And I'm also going to need the mat for the cover, which is on page P22. So, let me put that up. 
Alright, so what I'm doing here is I printed off, this is from the Winter Ornament Paper Collection, and I printed that off on the portrait version, because I'm going to trace this pocket out of here, and then I printed this page here. This is, let me grab my, the Shades of Color, this is the Etsy listing, um, thumbnail. I printed the number 25 off first onto 80 pound weight cardstock. By the way, I also have an Amazon list for this project. All of my papers are in there as well. If you want to check it out to see what it is that I use. And it's also a commission base, so I do earn a small commission if you purchase through my links. Um, it, does, it does help a lot for me to be able to continue to make free videos for you guys. So I would appreciate it and thank you if you do. That is amazing. I very much appreciate it. So anyway, so I printed page 25 from the Shades of Color, page 25 first onto 80 pound white cardstock, and then I printed this page from the Winter Ornament Backgrounds, or Paper Collection. I printed this on top because I wanted it to have like a scripty uh, bit on it. So here's what I'm thinking. I'm going to be needing that with that. So I wanted to use this funny, let me see if I can scoot it in a little bit. Yeah, a little, a little crooked. I wanted to use this like funny jagged edge. So I just kind of think I'm going to line it up like this. Oops, I don't want it to be crooked though. It's, the edge itself is going to be jagged, so it doesn't really matter. I just want to make sure that I get the right size for uh, the cover. So I'm just going to lay this on here and I am going to draw a line. I'm going to flip that little tab over, draw a line, flip this little tab up, draw a line, and then I'm going to flip this long tab over and draw a line here. Okay. So what I'm going to do is, whoops, I just completely forgot what I was doing. That's, that's normal. That's a normal occurrence for me. <laughs> whoops. I need to put this right back where I had it. And it's just really to make it easier to trim. It's, it's, it's not that crucial. But I want it to draw the outside lines here. of where this is and it looks like so it's just going to be it's not even going to be a perfectly straight line which is okay so if this doesn't work out that also is okay i'm not going to stress over it i can always reprint so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to go through and i'm just going to really ragged Cut this edge out. Whoa. Oops, these scissors are so giant. Hopefully I wasn't too close to the camera where it was screwing it up. Okay. So we've got that. And then let me cut this extra off here. Let's get those pieces to the side. So what I thought was I would have this pocket uh, on the cover and this this will be a pocket and this will be the mat for the cover itself so I think what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna line this up because I want to make sure I have the right height 
I want it to kind of match. Yes, that's what I'm trying to say. Okay, even though it's probably not going to matter. I'm going to get my paper trimmer out and I'm going to cut that out. Someone had asked me about the the script on here being upside down and it, it, they thought they had a messed up um, a messed up paper and it's not it is supposed to be upside down it's actually both ways if you really look close but if it really bothers you you can turn it over and um, which I might I might do that I might turn it over like that and use it that way just so that the writing is right side up but it, it doesn't matter to me, it doesn't matter. It's, I guess it depends on personal preference. Okay, so then, maybe I'll scoot back out just a little bit. I'm gonna get my scoreboard out. And I'm gonna score these lines here. I did not do a very good job of tracing. Actually, I just think I went crooked. Okay, so I'm gonna prep these really quick. So in the end, it'll look like this. So these will be wrapped around, or these will be underneath, I guess, is a better way to say it. I should probably give myself just a little more room. They can either be wrapped around or it could go straight on top. I'm going to try to wrap it around. So let me get my screw back out. I just need to give myself just a little bit more room to do that. This side as well. There we go. All right. So then, I am going to actually ink this up. I'm using the Distress Oxide Walnut. Actually, let me erase these lines first. But I am using the Distress Oxide Walnut Stain uh, Distressing Ink. everything else I want to see I'm gonna kind of like even wrap this up some more so I'm just gonna take it and bend the edges kind of inward Did you hear my stuff? 
I mean, good grief. Like that. And then I want to take this. This is packing paper and it right now it's Christmas time, right? So we are we are all getting packages. A lot of us are getting stuff. We're ordering things and we have a ton of this packaging. So let me show you what I mean by packaging. This is the stuff that comes in all wadded up in your packages. And if you actually look at it, it's folded really nicely. It will fold really nicely. It's got, a, it's got um, perforations. So you can literally just uh, tear you off a piece uh, to use in your projects. So I love using that. And since I've been making my, my flip-flop journal, um, I really enjoy the look of this. So this is where I, I'm kind of going. With this, I want to add that little bit of a lip there, you know? And if you want to check this out, I got a playlist for this as well. I'll, I'll link it up here and down below. Okay, so here's my thoughts. I think what I want to do is I just want to have enough of it sticking out. How do I want to do this? sticking out just a little bit sticking out but I do need to make sure it's the right height really quick so it doesn't need to so it's not too long which one's got a straight edge and if you don't like this look you can skip this part um, it's totally fine Garbage. Shouldn't have done that. <laughs> All right, one yeah, 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 yeah. So basically, I am going to attach this down, and then I'm going to trim it to fit. No, I don't know if I'll do that. Yeah, do it. I'll do it that way. I'm actually going to use some fiber attack because it gives me a bit of a wiggle room. And I'm going to run some glue. I'm not going to get too close to that edge. But I'm going to cover this whole back side here. And then I'm going to lay this on here kind of like this. Scoot it back just a little bit. You see how you got wiggle room, which I appreciate very much. Make sure this is not stuck down. All right, and then I'm just gonna cut this paper bag off. This is not paper bag. I'm gonna cut this paper brown packaging off right there so now we have something that looks like this right? All right let me ink this area up here I might even rough these edges up But for now, I am going to attach these down. So I'm gonna cut straight across. And they're not overlapping. And I think I'll use my Fabri-Tac 
to attach it down. this long tab yeah that looks so cool and then I'm gonna glue this top tab or whichever tab a tab So here's what we got so far. All right, doesn't that look cool? So my idea was, let me stick something in here. I'm gonna ink the outside edges, but then I have the idea of using one of the fussy cut embellishment uh, pieces that come with the paper collection. And maybe having it up here like so maybe it looks like it might be a little too big something like that or maybe even down here a little bit I might have to trim it or something so something like that I might actually these are just uh, paper they're just on a 28 pound paper, I might need to put it on cardstock because it's not very, it's not very sturdy. Something like that. And then one more thing, I'm thinking about adding corners. So I've got these book corners or whatever corners they kind of look like this so I was thinking about adding a couple corners here like that but I didn't like the way they look look so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna distress them and add some stuff to them so I want to make it kind of I've been playing around with it a little bit and I want to make it kind of look like this one here so here's what they originally look like. Let me see if I can't get it to focus on you on it. So this is what they originally look like. And I think it would look better like this. So I'm going to show you how I did that. I think that would look way cool. So I'm going to show you how I did that. So I'm going to do two. I'm going to do two. I don't think we should put one on all four. I think that would be too much. So just two on the sides here. Okay, so I have added these to my Amazon list. There's 48 pieces. So I've been playing around like I did just some gesso ones and that was too light. You know, I did a variety of different things. So I'm going to show you uh, what I think looks the best. So again, I've added these to my Amazon list. Everything uh, that I use the best I can, I add to my Amazon list. Okay, so I've got that. I need a, where's that? Let me grab that piece of brown paper bag that fell. This fell, you didn't see it, but it was over here off to the side. <laughs> so here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take, and I'm gonna find, this is uh, my Rose Quartz Majiggy. And I have all of the foundry waxes and the one uh, that says statue I think they come in twos so um, I'm gonna use the one that this is my favorite I think I'm pretty sure that this one kind of goes with just about anything and everything that I do so this is a distress Tim Holtz Ranger distress um, product I will have it linked in my Amazon and I will scoot you in So you can see a little better while I shake this up. So 
sorry about the light, the glare there. There's no way of, what if I do it that way? <laughs> All right, sorry, you gotta shake it up really, 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 really good. And before I get that out, let me move stuff out of the way. So all I'm gonna do is, I'm not gonna cover the whole thing. I'm just gonna grab bits and pieces and I might even hold it with my, I might even hold it up. So I'm gonna squirt a little bit out here. Put my lid on. And then I'm gonna tap, 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 tap. And then I'm just going to not cover the whole thing, just get a few spots. Just like that. It's where it's real, just random. Okay, and let me put this up. It's very important that you put that up before you get your heat tool out. And I'm gonna wipe that off my stone really quick. Okay. Then I'm gonna grab my heat tool and I'm going to set it. So sorry about the noise. I will take the noise out, but I will leave it running, <laughs> the, the film. Okay, you know it's set when it's shiny. So right now it just looks kind of weird, doesn't it? It's not, not like super, super awesome. But the next step, I'm gonna take a sanding block. This is actually a nail file, a nail um, sanding thing, and it's really gritty. It's, um, oh, I don't remember what grit it is. I'll try to find some and put them in the Amazon list. But, are these cooled down? What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this file and I'm gonna go, I'm gonna hold it down really good and I'm gonna go right over top like this. Okay, can you see that? All right, I'm gonna do this side over here. Okay, so it went from that to that. Don't you think that looks pretty stinking cool? Let me scoot you in just a little further. Right, look at the difference. So I think this looks real antique -y and awesome and this kind of looks just like what? Okay, so let's do this one. I might have you too close now. I think that's all, that's it. Let me scooch back out. I won't go too far. So, I'm gonna, I'm gonna see, this is, now it's the same thing, right? I might have, I might have, uh, I might have filed a little bit more on the practice one. So, if we put these here, That just makes it look really, really cool, yeah? I like it. So what should I do about this? This, this one. You see how it's just paper? I 
wonder if I should do like a little bit of that around the edges of this just to jazz it up a little bit. I can also flatten this area out a little bit more where this is going to be. Hmm. Kind of dig it. Okay. I'm going to attach these metal pieces down. I am going to use Fabri-Tac to do this. And I'm just going to try to get you know the areas that are going to touch without getting too much in the holes there. And I'm going to come up just about a quarter of an inch away from the edge cuz I still might mess up that uh, the the paper a little bit. Right, now everything's all gritty. Sorry about that. <laughs> Alright, so while that dries, I think I am going to do a little bit of the gilding on here, just on the edge. And I'm get my stuff back out. I'm just going to do a little bit at a time because this stuff does harden and once it's hardened it's or once it turns into like a powder it's it no longer will work. Yeah, that looks pretty cool, doesn't it? Okay, I kind of dig that. I like that, I like that, I like that. Okay. So, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue some of these pieces down so that it doesn't interfere with me putting that down. Ooh, I didn't mean to get that much glue up under there. That's okay. I used to have a towel sitting right next to me. I wonder where it went. Okay, so that's going to go there. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to actually switch this to this side. And I'm going to put some glue on this side. You can always come back and add glue. I'm going to use that to hold it down. All right, so then one last thing I want to do, I'm going to back just a little bit before I glue that down. Well, uh, I think I might even do the edges. We'll see. Is I want to ink these edges of my cover. I'm just going to do the front cover for now.
Somebody asked me in a comment about how these, how I got these uh, markings on my coffee stained paper. And I'll tell you exactly how I got them. <laughs> I, when I coffee stain um, these large pieces, a lot of times I will fully coffee stain a piece and then I will put a piece of white uncoffee stained paper underneath it and on top of it. And then I'll fully coffee stain another piece and put that on top of that and then another plain white one and so on and so forth. So I layer a white, a plain white sheet in between each one that I've coffee stained and let them dry that way. And this is the result of that. You get these really fun, cool uh, variations. So, all right, so you see the difference between inked and not inked, right? Okay. Um, so then this will be right here. Oh, I really like it, you guys. Give me a thumbs up if you really like it. I love that. I think it looks... And, of course, we're going to have inserts here. I don't have any of those made, but that's kind of the whole point of having a pocket <laughs> is to put inserts. All right. I'm going to go through and ink this edge up just a little bit heavier. And I'm just, I'm trying to decide if I want to mess up these edges. So, I think I'm going to. I just can't, I just can't help myself. So, I'm just going to kind of roll them, kind of like I did the edge here. Just going to roll them a little bit, just mess them up. So that they're not perfect. you guys I think though for now I am just gonna temporarily attach it down with some ATG advanced tape glider um, somebody made me this a long 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 time ago in that suite and uh, I'll show you it's just uh, the ATG and the replacement tapes that I put in here are not a Scotch brand. Those things are outrageously expensive. The ones I use, I have them linked, uh, and it's at Take Depot. It's very specific to this, to this, uh, this ATG. And you see how they've got these little small, these little small holes. That's what you want. The ones you find on Amazon have really big holes. I wonder if I have. I used to, because I had bought the wrong ones at one point, and, um, and, it, and it was such a frustrating thing. Um, I, don't, I don't think I have one over here. I've got one unopened. You see how it's got the little small holes? Anyways, so I'll have it linked down below. All right, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to run a couple strips here because this way I can remove it if I want to and or I can remove it and, and if I love it I can tape it down a little bit better but for now we're just gonna do that and I'm gonna try to put this on here I just need to remember that I did that you guys I'll probably forget what do you think do we like it let, let me see so then, you know, we can do inserts here. I don't know what yet, but um, I love it. I think it turned out great. Okay, you guys, please let me know what you think. Leave me a comment. Oh, well, you need to leave me a comment anyway uh, to enter into the giveaway. Let me know if you're going to give it a try. These little photo corners, this little technique, everything is linked in my Amazon. 
Uh, don't forget to check out the description box. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to be subscribed to my channel. Leave me a comment. Check out my Etsy shop. All that stuff. Um, yeah. And make sure you turn your bell notifications on so that you will be alerted when I upload a video. All right, guys. Thank you so much for joining me today. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.